Three card collectors. Caleb, how are you doing today? Hopefully you are doing well. Nice to see you first in the chat this morning. Oops. I had to lower my volume on my computer. Getting a little bit of feedback there. Hopefully you're doing well. We're going to be getting into our 1983 top set here. So we will be doing that. Um, just hold on one second. I will be right back. I don't think, let me see if I, uh, going well there. Um, I'll have to see what he wants afterwards. So it should come back on in a second here. If not, I'll reconnect. Oh, come on. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. Let me do a, a refresh on my computers. See if I am reconnected with you guys. Looks like we might be fine. Can you guys hear me talking? Hopefully you can hear me talking. I know my one computer has refreshed. Just waiting on the other one here. All right. If you do a re, um, we were kind of uh, swirl in there a little bit. If you check your system, um, do a refresh and it should come right back up. But in about four minutes here, I'm going to get into our content for today. <coughs> Let me take a sip of water real quick. Okay. So, um, dun dun dun. Can everybody hear me now? Are we back online? I know I was spinning there for a little bit. Hopefully we are doing better. Thanks. Hey there, Kendall. Kendall Brown's in the house. Caleb's in the house. Three card collectors. Caleb's here. Here you are fine. Okay, thanks a lot, Caleb. Appreciate that. All right. So I'm going to start moving some stuff out of the way as we do get closer here. But what... Um, I'll mention this if somebody else shows up. But um, again, this will be part two of our, our home run challenge, I guess I'll call it. Opening up uh, the Topps 2020 Series 1 to try and find out the Yordan Alvarez cards. Um, along with the other, uh, uh, the Aristide Zacchino. I'm going to move them out of the way as I highlight them. Um, the Gavin Luxes and the Bobachette. And I'm going to set these out of the way for now. And just so you guys are aware of it, this will be the product we'll be opening up today. And we're going to do it in this order, though. I'm going to open up the, the hanger packs first, the 34 card. Yesterday we did the 16 cards. I'm going to do the 34 card um, hanger packs first. Okay, just so you do know what's going on for today. So we'll do the 34 and just to see who can get a home run out of Series 1. Hopefully we can accomplish that today. And then uh, after the hanger pack, the hanger packs, we'll do the, the hanger box here. Okay, this is a hanger box. And these are all, uh, these are Walmart products. These are all from, I bought these from Walmart and have had them in for a while. And then if we have to get to this blaster box, then we'll open up this blaster box in search of, of course, the 
to see what rookie medallion card we would get out of this. But then also if we have to try and finish things up to see if we get a home run from any of our rookies. So, so far we have uh, Aristides Aquino and uh, Jordan Alvarez are, are both up to doubles. And then Bo Bichette and Gavin Lux both have singles for what we started out with yesterday when we did the hist the biographies for these four up and coming uh, rookie cards. So that is our content for today. And then right promptly here at 1030, we will get into our content at hand. And of course, that will be our Topps 1983 baseball card set. And then I will go through in our normal fashion and go through and highlight the cards in this set. Okay? So without further ado, we're going to get into this. It is 1030 and I've got other things going on today when I do finish. So um, in 1983, television, which for a long time in this country has been uh, accused and sometimes found guilty of the murder of boxing seemingly did nothing to impair the health of baseball. Enough people wanted to watch it on the tube that baseball was able to sign a new television contract which covered five years and had a value estimated to be $1.125 billion. And this is back in 1983. That's billion with a B. Some of those people must have occasionally gotten an inclination to go to the ballpark too because attendance reached 45,540,338, the 10th record in 15 years. Only three clubs drew under a million, Cleveland, Seattle, and Minnesota. And 10 drew over 2 million, including the Dodgers, who played host to... 3,510,313. There couldn't be much doubt in the tube had done terrible damage to the minor leagues. As television grew in this country, minor league attendance dwindled and in all too many cases disappeared. Yet in 1983, there was a phenomenon. The Louisville Club in the American Association drew 1,052,438 fans, the first minor league club ever to draw in seven figures. Maybe all this prosperity was one reason that baseball was having such problems finding a new commissioner. Bowie Kuhn, a scourge to the owners who couldn't wait to get rid of him, was proving a tough act to follow or replace. One reason might have been that potential replacements were wary of being measured against Kuhn's involvement in the huge television deal he had helped to arrange. The players were no longer content to go along with the status quo and uh, not make waves. The truth is that the general climate for baseball, for the baseball world, was perfect for surfing. Contributing causes to this included uh, better educated players, agents, and attorneys looking out for their rights and a basic change in attitude that takes place in people whose overall salary per player was $289,194 in 1983. Their bettered financial situation allowed them not only to think like owners they worked for, but to act like them. Proof of that came when the Players Association signed Ken Moffat to a three-year contract as executive director of the group. In the first year, they fired him. On July 24th, it was the ninth inning at Yankee Stadium, and the Yankees led Kansas City 4-3, to and George Brett hit a two-run home run, and the ball wasn't safe in some fan's pocket before the Yankees protested. Their claim was that Brett's bat had more pine tar on it than it should. Pine tar is placed on bats to provide a better grip, not to propel the ball farther. But it was found that the tar went higher than the rules called for. The umpires called Brett out. Kansas City protested the umpire's decision, and the American League president, Lee McPhail, upheld the protest, saying the umpires weren't at fault 
the rule book was. A date was set for the rest of the game to be played, starting with the Royals leading 5-4, to four, Brett's home run having been reinstated as player as play resumed yankees manager billy martin claimed that the runners on brett's home run had missed touching first and second base crew chief dave phillips said they had martin said that since the umpiring crew was different from the first how could this crew be sure phillips produced a notarized statement from the other crew that all bases had been touched the commissioner found yankees owner george steinbrenner at fault in making certain public statements regarding the, his displeasure at the way the matter was handled kuhn fined him two hundred and fifty thousand dollars there was a different kind of doubleheader in Fenway Park in Boston for a couple of days. A falling out among the general partners led to a situation where the club had two presidents and general managers until the court stepped in. On April 27th, Nolan Ryan broke Walter Johnson's all-time strikeout record. In his next start, he pulled a hamstring and was out for the month. During that, that month, Steve Carlton passed him. At the end of the year, Carlton had 3,709 strikeouts, 32 ahead of Ryan. On September 23rd, Carlton won his 300th game. The White Sox started slowly, but suddenly became unstoppable, winning 70 of their last 100 games to capture the American League West title by 20 games in the East. It was Baltimore by six, and they beat the White Sox in, in four games. In the National League, the Phillies beat the Dodgers in the playoff and then lost the World Series to the Orioles in five games. Fred Lynn, after playing on eight straight losing American League All-Star teams since coming to the majors, hit the first Grand Slam in All-Star history, and the American League won 13-3 after losing 11 in a row and 19 out of 20 games. So the cards in this set, as among many features in this 792-card set, a mini-series of super veteran cards. In the group were such favorites as Johnny Bench, Steve Carlton, Pete Rose, Rod Carew, Mike Schmidt, Nolan Ryan, Jim Palmer, Reggie Jackson, and Carl Yastrzemski. For the first time since 1963, the card design includes two pictures, a large action shot and a small head shot in a circle. There is a traded series of 132 cards that has the rookie cards of Ron Kittle and Daryl Strawberry. So there we have it, the information for our 1983 baseball card set. Kevin's card collecting is in the house. Thanks, Kevin, for being here. Uh, morning, Donald. Driving but listening. Oh, understand, Kevin. I understand fully. So let's see. Anybody else that I missed? Not that I can think of. Okay. So without further ado, I'll get ready to uh, disembark my uh my my phone here I'm gonna disembark my phone from the tripod um that was kind of silly let me embark <laughs> let me embark one more time real quick i'm gonna kind of uh move this over to the side while i move the book and get ready to uh go go through and highlight the cards here I'm not moving the book yet. Not until we're done highlighting the set. Um, but let me grab this now. Okay, so for those that do remember, this is what the 83 cards look like. Let me uh, set my baseball cap out of the way here. And we will go through and highlight these cards just like I always do. So that way you can see the complete set of cards. You might see some of your favorite players. So there we go, Ricky Henderson. All right. And we'll just kind of go through these. I'll keep an eye on the chat, look up every once in a while, see if anybody new jumps in the channel. And if, uh, well, Kevin's the only one I think here that's a mod. but And he's driving. So you keep driving, Kevin. You stay safe. Be careful out there. 
And, uh, yeah, we had a big thing in the news here. A state trooper was trying to chase somebody down yesterday uh, south of Seattle but north of Olympia here in Washington State. And he did get hit by the car, and he did end up dying. But that was the only big newsworthy thing outside of what's currently going on in our country here. So for those that are being told to shelter in place, please heed to those rules. That we can, that way we can try and stop spreading the virus to other people. Again, sometimes you may not even show symptoms of the virus. And you may be infected. Carlton Fisk, there, there we go, Carlton Fisk. But yeah, and just be careful what you do talk about in your streams. Because everything is almost on autopilot with uh, YouTube. So just uh, just pay, pay caution to that if you can. Yeah, I see. I see that there. Gwyn's rookie is in this set. Okay, well, I'll have to try and pay attention. See if I see Gwyn as we're going through here. Do you remember what what card number he is there, Kevin? If if you can't type, don't worry. Uh, guess when you get to a traffic light you can try and type something in the chat but do do not get in any type of conflict there Kevin please stay safe matter of fact if you're driving please do not text and drive at the same time it's bad enough in in a perfect world but we don't live in a perfect world I will try to pay attention and see if I Oh, three card collector says number 482. So we got a little ways before we get to to uh Tony Gwynn's rookie card. All right, so Tony Gwynn is 1983 tops. Okay. There's Mookie Wilson there. Mookie Wilson with the Mets. All right. Um Super veteran Johnny Bench. Looks like a then and now type photo back in the day. Rick Monday. And we're highlighting you on Wednesday. Um, Again, there's 792 cards in this set. And then at the end, they do show the tops traded set also. So that puts us just over 900 cards. Oh, there we go. Bill Caldell with the Seattle Mariners. Um, Ryan Sandberg with the Cubs. Thanks for putting that in there, there, Caleb. Appreciate you doing that. Alan Trammell, Hall of, Hall of Famer, Alan Trammell. I'll probably miss some of them. I just, the ones that really pop in my mind that I know for sure they're Hall of Famers, that's the ones I'll usually shout out. And sometimes I shout out a player just that I remember back in the day watching them. Complete set of tops 1983 in a PSA 10 condition would be $550. There we go, Pete Rose. Oh, back to back Pete Rose. Is that how they're showing these cards? Hmm. Interesting. That's nice. Okay, 
Ken Griffey Sr. with the New York Yankees. Ken, Griff Ken Griffey Sr. with the New York Yankees when he played for him. Remember, he was with the Cincinnati Reds. I'm pretty sure Ken Griffey Sr. played for a couple teams. He actually did play for Seattle a little bit, if you remember that. When him and his son were on the same team. That must have been a cool experience for, for Griffey. Joe Torre, manager for the Atlanta Braves. Todd Cruz, shortstop for the Seattle Mariners. All right. Just making sure I don't miss anything in the chat when I have a chance. I take a peek. Hubie Brooks with the Mets. Sutton with the Brewers. Oh yeah, they do. They kind of team these cards up. There's the Don Sutton um, with the Brewers. Regular card for this set. And then they show you um, the the Super Veteran then and now. So uh, year, from years past, probably when he first started, to current day, back in 1983, of course. <laughs> So that is pretty cool they did that back in the day for some of the, the super veterans. Johnny Ray with the Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Bruce Sutter with the Cardinals. Billy Martin, manager for the Oakland Athletics. There you go, Dan Quisenberry with the Royals. I love the super veteran cards in this set. This was my favorite set of the decade when I collected. Cool, Frank. Nice to see you in the chat here. Hopefully you are staying safe out there in New York. There we go. Dave Kingman. Super veteran card there. 160 and 161. Yes. I'm doing well there, Frank. Staying in, doing the social distancing. Not get well, yeah, I've been watching the news. I just saw Cuomo on the on on the nationwide TV broadcast that he does every day. I think it was Cuomo. Isn't that your governor? Cuomo? Governor Cuomo? Yes, Cuomo. Yeah, I've been watching him enough every day. I thought, I'm pretty sure I didn't. And then the, who's the mayor in New York City? That's the the other, the other guy. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Harold Beans, Hall of Famer Harold Beans. Bo Diaz with the Phillies. Bill de Blasio, similar name to mine. Oh, yeah, that's right. He must be an Italian. Right, almost one fourth of the way through this card, the the first part of the 
the section we're doing here. Do you have this set? No, no I sure I don't have. My oldest complete set I have is 1984, which we'll be going through next week. Looking forward to that one because I won't use the book for that one. I'm going to actually go through and highlight my set that I have. Looking forward to that one. I'll be reading the history out of the book here, and then I'll set the book aside and go through uh, my set of cards that I have for that one. Will be really nice to have. Um, yep, I was already in the military at this time. It's just uh, through the years I did compile. It's just a hand collated set that I, I put together. It's a nice set. I have all the top sets from 80 through 90. Wow, complete thanks to you. Oh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's why I was able to get you some of them cards. That's no problem there. I don't have complete sets, but I had some of the cards that you were looking for. And that's fine with me. Um, I'm not really trying to collect as much set-wise. Well, I... In a way, I am. In a way, I'm not. But not really the super, super old stuff. But it's surprising how some of the the 2000 sets are pretty expensive with some of the good rookies that are in some of the 2000 sets. But I, 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 I'm I, still working on going back in time in my uh, collection there. But uh, that's why... When I would get closer to some of the years where I do have complete sets, I would probably uh, highlight some of those also. But I don't know how I'm going to do some of the sets that I don't have. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to do it, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if I can come up with something. If not, I'll come up with another video series to take place of the, the tops baseball card sets. And maybe do one of the other companies. But I'm just searching around and looking. If not, I'll come up with something else to do to fill in this slot on that day. I might just talk for some time. I might go through the different uh, base baseball card companies that have been in America throughout the years. Some of them are sometimes a local. There's the veteran. Uh, it was at Goose Gossage and then course it ended up on two rows there's his regular player card then there's his super veteran card all right now we're close to about one fourth of the way um, through our cards including the tops traded at the end that we'll be going through big mcbride Dave Smith. All right, there we go. Rick Sarone with the Yankees. Here we go. There's uh, Gene Garber. And then there's the super veteran Gene Garber. Garber, then and now. All right, looks like his says 1969, and that is probably his rookie year, and then 1983, the current year. Jesse Barfield, Manny Castillo. Jamie Quirk was probably pretty quirky. Just kidding. Um, all right. Yep, that's what we did in the 80s. No inserts, no relics, no autos. You just tried to complete a baseball card set. I did have older sets if I only kept them. And if when I went in the military, my my family didn't get rid of my cards, they did. They thought I was never going to come home. That's another story for another day. Matt Kevin Hickey, Greg Gross, Burt Blylevin. There we go, Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin. Reggie Smith with the Giants. Bobby Brown with the Mariners. There you go. There's the other Reggie Smith 
Now, the super veteran, then and now. Kind of like some of the then and nows they do now, but then some of the then and nows they do is uh, this was the same similar type player and, and then the now. An older player that had similar attributes to the current up and rising stars. That's pretty much they do it the way they do it now with the then and now cards. Mike Schmidt with the Philadelphia Phillies. All right. There's the Mike Schmidt uh, Super Veteran card there. I guess they got had them off guilt on their numbers, so when they displayed them in the book, that's why they split them. Larry Boa, back in the day, he played for the Philadelphia Phillies also. Tom Lasorda with the Dodgers, manager. Greg Lazinski with the White Sox. He also had been with the Philadelphia Phillies when I was watching the team. Back in the 70s. There we go. Lou Pinella, when he was still playing baseball with the Yankees, and he, he was an outfielder. Gary Gray. Boy, that must have been an interesting name to have as a kid. Gary Gray with the Seattle Mariners. Just reverse order of his first and last name, the two middle letter letters, and you got Gary, and then you got Gray. wonder if he ever got kitted around in school with that. Ken Daly. Gary Rajish. With the Mets. Luis De Leon with the Padres. Steve Rogers with the Expos. Um, the final card I need for, for this set was Paul Splittorf on the Kansas City Royals. Oh, Paul Splittorf. Sorry about that. I was trying to pay attention to what he said in the chat. So you're still missing one, only one card in this set there, Frank? Here's the card. I missed it. Of course, that's easy to do when you're highlighting stuff. Hold on, split off. Oh, okay, card number 316, huh? Card number 316. is. You still need that card there? Is that the only card you're missing there, Frank? For the 1983 set? Or I thought you said earlier you had the complete set. Maybe that's the one you had been looking for and then you got it. That's interesting, though. Mike Sciosa with the Dodgers. Um, batting and pitching leaders. Oh, Cesar Cedeno and Mario Soto. There's Robin Young, Hall of Famer for the Brewers. Hmm. Nope, just did that one. Okay. Wait, that's one super veteran there. Nolan Ryan. Oh, is that Nolan Ryan on the end? Up oh, no, I, did I turn two pages? No. Oh, there, yeah, there's, uh, oh, I grabbed two when I looked back. There's the Nolan Ryan on this page. And then the super veteran card of Nolan Ryan on this page. Sorry about that. Brett Butler with the Braves. Dick Williams with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting. 
right. Gary Carter, catcher for the Expos. Carter's kids. Shout out to Carter's kids. Pete Vukovic with the Brewers. Lee May with the Royals. And there's Lee May, his super veteran card, then and now, 1965, then 1983. Dave Dravecki with the Padres. Ozzy Virgil with the Phillies. Rod Carew. Here's some all-star cards coming up for the American League. Bob Gritch. George Brett. Robin Yelt. Reggie Jackson. Those are all American League. Then we got Ricky Henderson, Fred Lynn, Carlton Fisk, Pete Vukovic, Larry Gura, still the American leg here, Dan Quisenberry, and we, now we've got the National League, Pete Rose, Manny Trio, Mike Schmidt, Dave Concepcion, Dale Murphy, Andre Tum, Andre Dawson, sorry about that. Uh, Rudy May was not, but then here's the rest of the National League. Bruce Sutter, Steve Carlton, Steve Rogers, Gary Carter, and Tim Raines. All right. Continue on down, getting close to, well, we're just over half, over the halfway mark, Phil Necro. There's a pitcher for the Braves and his then and now super veteran card there. Right? We're halfway through the regular set on this. Julio Cruz with the Seattle Mariners. Right? Just double check in the chat on the computer because it didn't look like it changed on my phone. But that's fine because nobody else has chatted recently. There we go. Uh, Al Oliver, his super veteran card there. Tom Lawless with the Reds. Pedro Guerrero with the Dodgers. Gary Cayetta with the Twins. Kirk Gibson with the Tigers. Dennis Lamp with the White Sox. And oh yeah, by the way, I don't have any fan mail. No fan mail. Fam or fan mail. Family mail call packages. I am expecting a package in today, so I might have something for tomorrow. And I'm most likely going to meet our pastor at the church to see what he wants to talk about but I'll give him a call when we finish our stream a little bit later here he was asking something about YouTube but I don't know for sure I don't think he wants to do a YouTube channel but don't know for sure maybe he wants to use that instead of Facebook I don't know exactly means I'd have to try and probably help him set up a YouTube account for the church. And since the church don't have a thousand subscribers, that means he'll have to definitely have not only YouTube available, set up a YouTube account, but then set up Streamlabs on his phone. So I'll see I'll see what he wants for sure when we when I get done here. He had just texted me when I started the stream, so since it wasn't 10 30 time frame that's why i went into the spinning wheel motion a little bit I and mean, wanted to respond to him letting him know i would contact him after i finish my live stream okay tony gwen there we go kevin 
There's your Tony Gwynn rookie card right there. Outfielder for the San Diego Padres. I don't know, Kevin might have had to go to work today. I know he's been working from home. But they probably needed him to come and check in or something to make it kind of official. Jim Palmer is a base card and then his super veteran card. Tom Herr, the Cardinals. Yay! Did you get to see it there, Kevin? Here, let me go up real quick for Kevin. There's Tony Gwynn's rookie card. Shout out to Kevin. <laughs> that bell ringer was for, was for you, Kevin. There's his rookie card. 1983 tops. Wade Boggs with the Red Sox. I see it. I'm back. Kendall Brown's back. All right, thanks, Kendall. Nice to see you back in the stream. There is Reggie Jackson and his super veteran card. And Jeff Little. All right, moving on to the next page here. Getting close. We got about 300 more cards to go through to 792. Gary Templeton with the Pir with the Padres. Lou Whitaker with the Tigers. Tug McGraw with the Phillies. All right, there's Tug McGraw's uh, Super Veteran card. Gary Ward with the Twins. Bruce Benedict with the Braves. Checklist. Eddie Murray with the Baltimore Orioles. Batting and pitching leaders Ricky Henderson and Rick Langford. For the Oakland Athletics. Okay. Ozzie Smith with the Cardinals. Floyd Bannister with the Seattle Mariners. Carl Yastrzemski's super veteran card and his base card there. Brian Giles with the Mets. I used to see the Mets on TV and the Yankees on TV and the Philadelphia Phillies on TV. Those are the main teams that we would get our TV channels from New York City and Philadelphia. And it's really amazing how through this day they don't have a news station in the state of New Jersey. Don't know why that is. I guess there was we get we were too close to New York City and Philadelphia in proximity, I guess. Juan Bonilla with the Padres. Bucky Dent with the Rangers. Manny Sarmento Cer with the Pirates. Eric and John Jabs. Joe Simpson with the Seattle Mariners. Willie Hernandez with the Cubs. Vita Blue. There we go. I remember Vita Blue back in the day. Frank Robinson, manager for the Giants. Tom Seaver with the Cincinnati Reds and his super veteran card.
George Brett at the Kansas City Royals. Randy Johnson with the Atlanta Braves. Not the Randy Johnson you're thinking, though. Different Randy Johnson. Tim Raines with the Montreal Expos, Hall of Famer. Joe Morgan and his Super Veteran card. Bobby Cox with the Toronto Blue Jays manager card. Steve Garvey with the Dodgers. Charlie LeBrant with the Reds. Greg Nettles with the Yankees and his Super Veteran card. Alex Trevino, pitcher or catcher for the Reds. Tippy Martinez with the Baltimore Orioles. Pat Corrales, manager for the Philadelphia Phillies. Fighting Phils. Andre Thornton with the... Designated hitter for the Indians, Billy Sample with the Rangers. Bump Wills with the Cubs on the end there. Wow, we're going to end it on the next two pages and go into the top traded set to finish it up. Doo -doo -doo. Randy Moffat with the Astros, Johnny Grubb for the Rangers, Harvey Kuhn, manager for the Milwaukee Brewers, Dave Henderson for the Seattle Mariners, <laughs> Tommy John with the Angels and his Super Veteran card. Batting and pitching leader for the San Diego Padres and Rusty Staub and his Super Veteran card. Okay, last page coming up here. Finish up the the main set here. I have to start weeding in a few minutes. Well, we're almost finished there, Kendall Brown. Must be that time of year near where you live. Um, I'll probably have to get out and cut my grass here pretty soon, but not this upcoming week. It's going to be raining too much. But as soon as we get a, a dry spell, Al Cohen's with the Seattle Mariners. I'll have to get out there and cut some grass. And there's Dave Winfield with the Yankees. Cut the grass and do some weeding myself around the edges. Keep up on that so it don't get too unruly and out of hand. That way it's easy if I just cut it every every week or so. Keep it manageable once I beat it down. The grass is starting to grow, that's for sure. Bobby Mercer with the Yankees and his Super Veteran card. And then our last... Oh, right here. Sorry. 
Dick Tedrow with the Cubs. Dane Eorg with the Cardinals. Brian Clark with the Seattle Mariners. Bob Gritch with the Angels. Gary Lavelle with the Giants. And the last card in the base set is Chris Chambliss with the Atlanta Braves. All right. I think we got one more. Is it one or two more pages? Let me see here quick. 66. How many cards were in? Oh, that's right. 132 cards. So we got four four pages to go, which shouldn't go too too hard. This is the Tops 1983 Tops Traded Series. Get that in there so everybody knows we're doing the Tops Traded Series next. And again, this is when they were traded to other teams throughout the season. So this is kind of the end, end of year update to tell people where they were or who they got traded to. See if there are any big stars here traded throughout the year. Or some new and upcoming. Tony Bernarzard with the Seattle Mariners. Don Baylor with the Yankees. Floyd Bannister with the White Sox. I guess Steve Boros became manager of the Oakland Athletics. Julio Cruz with the White Sox. Okay. Pete Falcone, pitcher for the Braves. Julio Franco with the Indians. Steve Henderson with the Seattle Mariners. Danny Heap with the Mets. Frank's card collecting and more. He's a Mets fan. Keith Hernandez with the Mets. Frank Howard, manager for the Mets back in the day. Couple of Yankees there. To our last page here for this set we'll get into our next content at hand going through some more tops 2020 series one baseball card packs and hanger boxes and a blaster box if we need to get that far doing part two of our home run challenge all right And this set is 132 cards. So we're getting close to the end here. And then I will give you a quick preview of next year's grouping. 
for the 1984 tops. Right. Last row here. So Eddie Whitson with the Padres, Jim Wolford with the Expos, Matt Young with the Mariners, the Seattle Mariners, Joel Youngblood with the Giants, Pat Zachary pitcher with the Dodgers, and I guess the last card is the checklist. There we have it. All right. So let me uh, throw my ball cap back on. Let me set this out of the way while I move the box and then get the, the break table set up here so we can get ready for our next. Oh, sorry. I had my page break here for my book. Keep the spot. Oh, sorry. Let me uh, highlight real quick. This will be next week, 1984 Tops. Next Wednesday will be our 1984 Tops. Okay. Let me set this off to the side here real quick. Uh, okay. Now I can put this marker page here. Uh-oh, you guys can probably see my Frank Thomas rookie card down there, huh? <laughs> okay. So let me get things lined up real quick in the background here. Um, let me put my my Boba Shed up here. These, these are the, the players for the, the home run challenge we got coming up here. And then the, the Gavin Lux. The Gavin Lux. And then the Aristides Aquino. Get him all lined up here. And the Jordan Alvarez. You'll see what I'm doing here in a second here. As soon as I get it all lined up. And then uh got to get something from this stand here. So somebody else can see something else I've set up here. And then let me get everything lined up in the background here as far as our our content that we're going to break open. Let's see here. I'll try and get it semi sort of lined up here in a way. So hopefully you can see everything we're going to open up on the channel today. cards hopefully we don't knock anything over her okay now I'm going to see if I can Put my camera back in place so you guys can see everything. Get everything lined up here on the break table. I don't know if Kevin's watching in the background or not. Are you still driving there, Kevin? Are you home? Are you at work or what? Let's see. I got to move uh, Bo Bichette over here a little bit. Gavin Lux over here a little bit. Uh, our Aristides Aquino. Still driving. Oh, okay. Next time you stop at a, a traffic light here, maybe you'll see what I'm doing here. Oops. <laughs> Almost had him lined up there. All right, he doesn't count, but for Kevin's sake, 
the can you see the screen there oh oh you're picking up your granddaughter okay picking up your granddaughter and then uh read my post above uh What's Kevin saying? I see it. You see it what? At 11.05. What did you see at 11.05? Yeah, I see it. Oh, okay, that was the, the Tony Glenn rookie card. And then Kevin said, don't forget that <laughs> Gallon is on third. Gallon's on third? Why would I have Gallon in here? Um, still driving, picking up my granddaughter, read my post above. Okay. All right. So I don't know if you can see everything there, Kevin. Let's see. So I've got to get another, at least one more here. Yeah. I'll, let's see. I'm going to put it right here for now. We may have to move it. We'll see how things adjust accordingly, uh, accordingly later. Okay, but we've got, uh, so of course, Jordan Alvarez has a double. Aristide Zacchino has a double. Gavin Lux is a, has a single. And Bobichet has a single. So for those that weren't here yesterday and are watching today, we're trying to see which one can get to a home run. So if, he, if I get one rookie card for Bobichet, which they st all started out with one. So they were all on first base yesterday. What? You see Gallon? Where's Gallon? And then Aristide Zacchino and Jordan Alvarez both have... I, I have the one I started with. And I have the Aristide Zacchino and the Jordan Alvarez. I started with one and we pulled one of each of these two yesterday. So they're both on second base. And for some unforeseen reason... I don't know why he would have me want to do this, but Kevin told me I should put Zach Gallon out here. Does anybody in here know who Zach Gallon is? I never heard of him before. He looks like one of the teenagers in in, in our in our in our church though. So I don't know. I mean he looks like he could still be in high school. That's what I can't figure out. But anyway, so here's the order of preference we're going to go into, okay? Okay, so we've got uh, these 34 count uh, hanger packs here. Oh, he is the future ace of the Diamondbacks. Is that what that is? But he looks like he could still be in high school. I mean, you look at that picture there. Look at his picture here. He looks like he could still be in high school. Look at that guy. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm going to try and get the ball over the plate. Hopefully nobody hits it. Just teasing, Kevin. <laughs> But in honor of Kevin, I decided to put Zach Gallon out here since we pulled three of his cards. Yes, uh, uh, well, actually, I guess if I would have started with a Zach Gallon, he would have already hit the home run. But since he don't really count, he's just extra. We're going to see how many Zach Gallons. I, I predict we're going to pull more Zach Gallons. But these, they may not have been intended that way, but I don't see as many Bush. Bush Bobichettes and Cavan Gallons. I do have a bunch of these, and I do have more of these in my PC here, in my separation box. But we're going to go ahead and go into this, see if I can finish up maybe about noonish or so. But we will see. So without further ado, I'm going to put any of the, the subsets we get into this stand here for now until each pack, I'll just move them out of the way. And then at the end, I'll probably just go through and highlight um, the different cards in this. So just to make it easier here and to not try and rip these open, I'm going to just cut off the tops of these hanger packs here to make it easier to, to tear out of the pack. And then kind of push the cards out the top here. Okay, nothing left in the pack. So we will see... 
Oh, that's good. This one, they have a security tag in there. I'm just going to throw those away. They ain't worth saving. Not when they have that little sticker on there. But uh, let's see who we can find today. So we got Chris Archer with the Pittsburgh Pirates here. I'm going to just kind of set these out of the way because it's in, in the way of my break table for now, Kevin. But you can kind of see Zach Gallon back in, in the background there. How's that sound? Okay. So Chris Archer with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Jose Peraza. Jose Peraza with the Cincinnati Reds. We got a Kirby Yates with the San Diego Padres. No rookies yet. Um, John Gray with the Colorado Rockies. Um, oh, there we go. Vladimir Guerrero. Or no. Lord Guriel Jr. with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Danny Holtzen with the Chicago Cubs. Rookie card. All right. Then we've got uh, Cisco Chance with the Baltimore Orioles. We've got Kurt Suzuki with the Washington Nationals. We've got the Los Angeles team card. The Christian Yelich with the Brewers. We got the, the Demet Travis Dimitri rookie card for the Ti Detroit Tigers. We got Johnny Cuto with the San Francisco Giants. Oh, there we go. We got a short print card here. Blake Trennan gold card. That should be uh, serialized. That one should be serialized. Yep, 13, uh, 1306 out of 220. So Blake Trennan goes up here. He'll get put into my, my holdout stack there. Then we got a Rice Hoskins production line. All right. There we go. We got a decade's best. Our decades ne next, Keston Hira. Keston Hira. And then we've got the Max Scherzer with the Washington Nationals. And we have the Kyle Lewis rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. I got a Seattle Mariner out of this first pack. A lot better than what we were doing yesterday. AJ Puck with the Oakland Athletics rookie card. Um, Sandy Alcantara with the Miami Marlins. Francisco Lindor with the Cleveland Indians. Um, Jose Barrios with the Minnesota Twins. Oops, wait a minute. Francisco Lindor, you go over in that stack. You're not, wrong. You're not a rookie this year. Jose Barrios with the Twins. You say Kakuchi with the Seattle Mariners. Well, two Mariners in one pack. How did that happen? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I'm going to actually put that you say in my turkey stack for now. Um, Mike Soroka, Gold Cup card. All right. Then we've got um, Adam Frazier with the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, we've got future star Tony Edmond, Josh Fegley with the Oakland Athletics, um, Dominic Smith with the New York Mets, All right, um, Josh Van Meter with the Cincinnati Reds, uh, John Lester with the Chicago Cubs, Charlie Culberson with the Atlanta Braves, uh, there's the Blake Trennan like we got on the short print card. That's his base card. Uh, Nick Markakas with the Atlanta Braves. Luke Voigt with the New York Yankees. And our last card is Mike Trout with the California Angels. Mike Trout. All right. So that's a bunch of base cards. Couple a uh, future star, a gold cup card, and one, two, three rookies. Three other rookies. So let's now move into our second hanger pack here of 34 cards. Love Tommy Edmond. 
right pull off the top there and let's pull out this next pack of 34 cards still looking for the alvarez aquino gavin lux or boba shet all right another uh security card there has a little security tag in there those are kind of annoying because sometimes when you run them through the self-checkout, they don't clear the tag. And then you go out the door and the Walmart guy says, oh, don't worry, I know you. They see me enough in, in Walmart now. <laughs> so Alex Verdugo with the Dodgers. Uh, Nick Senzel, the future star there. All right. Uh, Nico Goodrum with the Detroit Tigers. Nico Goodrum. Cattell Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting. Um, there's uh, Chris Paddock with the San Diego Padres, future star. Um, Jorge Polanco with the Minnesota Twins. Domingo Santana, our first Mariner in the second pack. There we go. So three Seattle Mariners so far. Can't remember how many did we pull out yesterday, Seattle Mariners. I think five out of out of those two blaster boxes and the uh, sixteen card packs. I think Evan Longoria with the San Francisco Giants. Um, got some sideways cards now. Yes, Money Grandel with the Brewers. Um, Tyler Naquin with the Cleveland Indians. Um, Lucas Giolito with the Chicago White Sox. Oh my word, look at that. Kevin, you pick up your granddaughter yet? Gotta go. I'll check back in. There's Zach Gallion. We got our fourth Zach Gallion. Or Gallon. Is it Gallon or yeah, Gallon. G-A-L-L-E-N. Not get not like a gallon of milk, but a gallon. Ga ga it's gotta be Gallion. Gallion. Or ga gallon. Gallon. I don't know. Anyway, there you go, Kevin. I guess he hit the home run. Oh, my word. But then we got a hit right behind. Oh, my word. I just knocked everything over. We got a short print. Stan Musial. See? Zach Gallon tipped everything over there. He tipped the scales. So we got a short print. A Stan Musial. All right? You think, oh, how do you know that's a short print? Because if... If you look in the checklist, it's card number 13, but that's not the usual one. And it is an 85 down here. And that is the, the short print variations. Come on. There we go. 85 short print variation card. That is cool. So that is a short print variation card. Sometimes they, no, I don't think they serialize them, but that's a super short print variation card of the base. Because it's, I don't know if they've made a complete set of these or not, or just chose. I don't think they did. I think when I looked on the trading database, it's only certain, the card number 13, I can't remember what the base card is for 13. But that is, and it's usually um, either uh, superstar players or Hall of Famers. That is a nice hit, though, to get. I don't believe I have that Stan Musial short print, super short print yet. There's the Rice Hoskins, uh, Tater Two-Step, okay? And another Rice Hoskins, Freebies Accepted. So I do have one complete set of Rice Hoskins now. I'm trying to get a second set now. And if I do, I might be sending to that to somebody in the channel uh, okay so you got the 2010 decades best award winner felix hernandez felix hernandez is a seattle mariner i think we're up to one two three four i think four mariners now all right there's uh gallo who's that uh, Joey Gallo with the Texas Rangers turkey card. Oh, my word. Look at that there, Kevin. Kevin's card collecting. He says, got to go. I'll check back in. K 
Kevin, you got another Zach Gallon rookie card. That gives him past the home run mark. I think he's hit a grand slam now. He was on first base, second base, third base, hit a home run. Now he's gotten up to the grand slam level. Come on there. Where's our star rookies? They're 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 not they're not doing producing here. Zach Gallon, maybe he is gonna be their ace pitcher. <laughs> Kinda like you say Kikuchi for the Phil, for the San Diego for <laughs> for the Seattle Mariners. Boy, I'm really tipsy here. I don't have my little munchie machine here. No. <laughs> Alex Bregman with the Astros. Jeremy Jeffries with the Milwaukee Brewers. Carlos Santana with the Cleveland Indians. There we go. We got the Jordan Alvarez. We got a Jordan Alvarez. Let me get him into a penny sleeve. That means right now Jordan Alvarez is hitting the home run. Or no, probably going to hit the home run. We've got three Jordan Alvarez's now. One, two, three. So there we go. Bo Bichette's got a single. Gavin Lux got a single. Aristides Aquino is on. Oh, no. First base, first base, first base, and second base for him. Jordan Alvarez, though. That's why he's a rookie card and a gold cup holder. Sing, he's on first base, second base, third base. Love Sandy Alcantara, former St. Louis Cardinals player. So Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers. Oh, look at that. We got another Seattle Mariner, Daniel Vogelback. All right. So we got three, four, five Seattle Mariners. We got the Felix Hernandez. All right. And then we've got the other one, Hin, uh, Hyun Jin Ru with the Los Angeles Dodgers. League leader card. Oh, that's a pretty Mike Clevenger card with the Indians there. It's got some nice color going on there with that one. I don't think, wonder if that's... Nope, just a base card. Just a different looking base card for sure. And then Billy Hamilton with the Braves. All right. Uh, Steven Matz with the New York Mets. Um, New York Mets team card. Uh, Minnesota Twins team card. Got May Cave and Rogers right there. All right. Hector Neris with the Philadelphia Phillies. Then we've got Andrew Benatendi. Shout out to Ethan Zelvis. Covers him more. He, he PCs Andrew Benatendi. And then uh, Cesar Hernandez with the Philadelphia Phillies. And rounding up our pack here, Anthony Santander with the Baltimore Orioles. All right. So ends that one up. Sandy Alcantara, former St. Louis Cardinals player. All right. Let me just wind these up real quick here. All right, so again, first base, first base, first and second base, and Jordan Alvarez is on first, second, and third base. Is he going to be the first one to hit a home run of a, out of our four-star rookies here? We shall see. Moving on to pack number four. Pack number four. If we get that home run, then the contest is over, and we will stop ripping and ripping for today. So let's see what we get next. All right. Pack number three for the fat packs. All right. It's not the big hammer hanger box. But let's see here. Michael Brousseau with the Tampa Bay Rays. Rookie card. Tyler White with the Dodgers. Dustin May. That's one of the other uh, up-and-coming rookies for the Dodgers. Hunter Dozier with the Kansas City Royals. All right. Nick Solak. Rookie card for the Texas Rangers. All right. Flip these cards over again. Uh, Jay Bruce with the Philadelphia Phillies. 
Robo Garcia with the Chicago Cubs rookie card. Patrick Corbin with the Washington Nationals. Um, Jesus Aguilar with the Tampa Bay Rays. Got some sideways cards now before we get our insert cards. Oakland Athletics team card. For the A's, uh, Robbie Grossman with the A's. Um, Jalen Davis with the San Francisco Giants rookie card. Uh, Jameson Talon with the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right. And then we've got uh, Anthony Rendon with the Washington, with the, it says the Washington Nationals. Oh, my word. But he's got a minute, a Montreal Expos. Is that a short print? That is so cool. <laughs> that is a short print. That's an 84. It's an uh this is an uh short print variation. Of course, the super short print variation we got was this one right here. The Stan Musial. But the 284, if you can see that here. 284. And I haven't I, I do double check some of these to make sure if I missed it. But yeah. There we go. That is <laughs> that is so cool looking. So Anthony Rendon with the Washington Nationals, but with the Montreal Expos. Um, Montreal Expos uniform on. Remember, the Montreal Expos became the Washington Nationals. That is so cool. Okay, looks like just not many people chatting. We still got five people in the stream. So that goes up with my short prints, that's for sure. And then we've got our Rice Hoskins here. Uh, thirsty for 30. Oh, there we go. The Pittsburgh Pirates. Roberto Clemente with our 85 throwback card. All right. And that Garrett Cole, the turkey card. Garrett Cole, turkey card. All right, Cody Bellinger with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Turkey card. All right, so I guess you got to pay attention when you see the Atlanta Braves. Make sure they're wearing the Atlanta Brave uniform. But no, I always double check the backs in case I do miss anything. I, I just, I read that and I seen the uniform and I was like, wait a minute, that don't look right. But Luke Jackson with the Braves. Um... Mike Talkman with the New York Yankees. Um, David Price with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Roman Quinn with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Shane Green with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Jose Martinez with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Randall Grichuk with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Carson Kelly with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, Charlie Culberson with the Atlanta Braves. Then we got Jackie Bradley Jr. with the Boston Red Sox. We got Ian Kennedy with the Kansas City Royals. We've got Max Kepler with the Minnesota Twins. Then we got Luke Voigt with the New York Yankees. Mike Trout with the California Angels. And we got Brandon Woodruff with the Milwaukee Brewers. And last but not least, Nelson Cruz with the Minnesota Twins. All right. Rounds out pack number three here. One more of the fat packs to go. Let's see what we can find here. Still trying to find out if we can get our first, our, our home run from our star rookies. Jordan Alvarez is first, second, and third base. Aristides Aquino is first and second base. Gavin Lux is just at first base. And Bo Bichette is at first base still. 
So we're going to rip into our fourth pack. See if we can get an Alvarez home run to end the challenge here. And that'll save some other product for another stream. But let's go into this fourth fat pack here. See if we can get that Jordan Alvarez. Kevin's card collecting says he's back. Well, you didn't you you missed a few things there, Kevin. You missed a few things. Let me uh let me give you a highlight here quick. Let me move this out of the way for you so you can see. We got Zach Gallon. He he hit the home run earlier. I don't know if you saw he hit the home run. We got four Zach Gallons. And then right after that, we got a Zach Gallon uh, rookie card, turkey card. That gave him a grand slam. In case you're wondering there, Kevin. Yeah, I think my phone froze up on the chat. You're still driving, but yeah, you can hear me at least. So, uh, And keep an eye on the road, Kevin, if you have precious cargo on board. But yeah, uh, Zach Gallon basically hit the grand slam. But then we did get one Jordan Alvarez, so Alvarez is on third base. Okay? So we got first base, second base, and third base for Jordan Alvarez. We got Aristides Aquino is on first and second base. Okay? And then Gavin Lux and Bo Bichette are still, still on first base only. But we're ripping into our fourth fat pack to see what we can find here. And if we get the Jordan Alvarez, that means we hit the home run. And that ends the challenge. And then we'll get into our next next event of the week tomorrow. But Patrick Sandoval with the Angels. Oh, wait, yeah. And other than that, we did get uh, another short print. Which this is one I wasn't expecting. Um, we did get the Stan Musial short print. Uh, SSP so we got the Stan Musial SSP and then we did pull in a short print of Anthony Rendon with the Washington Nationals but he's he's wearing a Montreal Expos shirt so that's what didn't make sense to me and then I did turn it over and look and that is an SP a short print that's a short print variation and then the the Stan Musial, of course, is a super short print, but it's not serialized on the back. But it is it is card number 13 in the set, but it's the super short print. So that's the first type of variation I saw like that, where it's it you don't catch it at first because you look and then you say, oh wait, it says it's a Washington Nationals card, but he's in a Montreal Expo uniform. So that is, we found out something new. Other people may have known it. That's the first time I saw that, though. So Patrick Sandoval with the Angels, rookie card. Um, David Fletcher with the Angels. Anthony May with the Toronto Blue Jays, rookie card. Um, Jeff Samardija with the San Francisco Giants. Um, Mauricio... Dubon with the San Francisco Giants rookie card. Bryce Har Harper with the Phillies. Mike Chow Givens with the Baltimore Orioles. Then we've got uh, Scott Kingery with the Philadelphia Phillies. We've got, uh, oops, that goes down this way. Sorry. Then we've got Masahiro Tanaka with the Yankees. Then we've got Ian Desmond with the Colorado Rockies. Then we've got Luis Castillo with the Cincinnati Reds. I think we got a shiny card coming up here. Um, Yomer Sanchez with the Chicago White Sox. We do. It's a Tampa Bay Ray shiny card. A shiny card. Jesus Aguilar with the Tampa Bay Rays shiny guard. 
We got us a shiny card. <laughs> the rainbow foil for my subset I'm trying to build. So there's the the Jesus Aguilar shiny card. Along with some of our inserts coming up here. We got the 11th Heaven, Rice Hoskins. We got a 1950s Decades Best Awards winner, Warren Spam. Right, we've got the Luz Luzardo. Luzardo. Jesus Luzardo. Turkey card, rookie card. We got the he Keston Hero. Turkey card. Now we're back to our basic cards here. All right, we're going to find a Yordan Al Alvarez or not? We we shall see. If not, we got to pull in the heat. Got to pull in the heat. Kenta Maeda with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Mike Yastrzemski, Future Stars card. Carlos Rondon with the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Hunter Renfro with the San Diego Padres for Kevin. All right. Isan Diaz with the Miami Marlins. All right. Aradoldis, Aradoldis Chapman with the New York Yankees. Malik Smith with the Seattle Mariners. Gives me, I think, six Mariners now out of the product so far. All right, Jacoby Jones with the Detroit Tigers. Trey Turner with the Washington Nationals. Uh, sideways again we go. Aaron Nola with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Willie Adamas with the Tampa Bay Rays. Chicago Cubs team card. Um, Tim and Yomer, South Side. Infielders celebrate a win. All right, we've got uh, Cesar Hernandez with the Philadelphia Phillies. Anthony Santander with the Baltimore Orioles. Mike Fears with the Oakland Athletics. And last but not least, David per Peralta with the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, just to make us a little bit more room here, I'm going to throw these base cards off to the side here so I can free up some space on my table here. So I was hoping we could have found another Jordan Alvarez. It would have ended the home run challenge. But of course, Zach Gallon is at a grand slam right now. Um... I was thinking something outside of the box, but I'm not going to change the rules midway through. All right, so next we have the hanger box. The hanger box. The 67 card hanger box. Hopefully we can uh, break or get some more of our star rookies out of this box here. We shall see. Time will tell. All right. see I don't see any thick cards in in the pack per se but we will see it is empty empty box here put that in the background here for now for the hanger box we're opening here okay there we go now I think it'll sit flat nope Oh, well, we'll just, it'll have to sit the way it sits. All right. So in my normal fashion for these fat packs, I will probably pull the cards from the bottom and see how we end this 
see if we have to move into the blaster box. All right. So I'm going to put that half of the deck, half of the pack down there. Go through the back half first. Go into our hits second. So let's go through and see what else we can find out of here. Alex Bregman with the Houston Astros. Jeremy Jeffries with the Milwaukee Brewers. Carlos Santana with the Cleveland Indians. Boom! The Jordan Alvarez Gold Cup card is the first one to hit a home run. All right. Those that don't know for sure, or if you jumped in here late, no, we're still at the same five people, it looks like. There we go. We're going to end. We're going to finish this pack, this box off, but we're going to save this blaster box for another time. Going to save this blaster box here for another time, okay? So we're going to go ahead and end after we go through this box here, and I'll save that blaster box for another challenge. All right? But Jordan Alvarez. First base, second base, third base. Jordan Alvarez. Hit the home run. Now... There is a slight possibility, but I doubt it. If somebody else ties, like if we could pull two Aquinos out of here, then we could possibly tie Iridon Alvarez with a home run, and then we might have to break the home run. But in doing that too, we'd probably have to bust open some more product but you never know we could get to Aquinos we might we might not but let's see what happens here to finish things off here the Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers Brandon Brandon or uh, Raymond Loriano with the Oakland Athletics future star all right the Cole Calhoun with the Angels uh, Jesus Lazardo with the Oakland Athletics rookie card. Carlos Correa with the Houston Astros. Jacoby Jones with the Detroit Tigers. Trey Turner with the Washington Nationals. Jose Quintana with the Chicago Cubs. James Paxton with the New York Yankees. Dylan Cease with the Chicago White Sox rookie card. Omar Narvaez with the Seattle Mariners. That gives us seven Seattle Mariners out of the product we opened today. We beat yesterday, that's for sure. Reese McGuire with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Matt Thias rookie card for the California Angels. Daniel Vogelback, card number eight for the Seattle Mariners. Wow, we're just on a roll here. Uh, Freddie Peralta with the Milwaukee Brewers. Hit Mariners left and right today. Logan Allen with the Cleveland Indians rookie card. Yadier Molina with the St. Louis Cardinals. Houston Astros team card. Um, Washington Nationals team card. Um, Rogelio Armenteros with the Houston Astros. Rookie card. Matt Olson with the Oakland Athletics. Uh, Dominic Smith with the New York Mets. All right. Uh, Got to run off again. Congrats to Jordan, but technically he finished second to Gallon. Laugh out loud. Take care, Donald. Have a great one. Thanks there, Kevin. You take care with your granddaughter there. Hopefully everything goes well today. All right. So Michael Chavez, Boston Red Sox future star. Uh, uh, Brian Anderson with the Miami Marlins. Mike Mustakas. With the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, Max Stassi 
with the California Angels. Um, Adrian Marahone with the San Diego Padres rookie card. Um, Daniel Polka with the Chicago White Sox. And Ian Kinsler with the San Diego Padres. All right, now we go through the second half of our stack here. See what we can find here. I think we might have a special card coming up here. It looks like it's a shiny card for sure. David Bote with the Chicago Cubs. Chris Archer with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. Uh, Jose Peraza with the Cincinnati Reds. Kirby Yates with the San Diego Padres. Um, it's definitely some kind of blue card coming up here. Anybody know what the blue cards are by chance? <laughs> Ron Gray with the Colorado Rockies. All right. Michael Brasho Br 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 with the Tampa Bay Rays rookie card. Tyler White with the Dodgers. Dustin May. There's another Dustin May. We had one earlier. Uh, rookie card with the Dodgers. Jorge Alfaro with the Miami Marlins. Uh, Liam Hendricks with the Oakland Athletics. Soaking it all in. Uh, the Yankees celebrate a Kleiber walk-off home run. Juan Soto with the Washington Nationals. Kevin McCarthy with the Kansas City Royals. Um, Idelmaro Vargas with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, boom, boom, boom. Turn the cards over again. Um, Matthew Boyd with the Detroit Tigers. Um, Dansby Swanson with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Seth Brown, rookie card for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, Lucas Giolito with the Chicago White Sox. Oh, my word. Boom. Where'd Kevin go? And yet another Zach Gallon. Zach Gallon is just killing it. Zach Gallon is just stomping all over all our rookie stars here. All right. Jacob Wogspack with the Toronto Blue Jays rookie card. All right. Uh, California Angels team card. There's Shohei Otani, Calhoun. All right. Next one, Hollywood Heroes. Dodgers outfielders celebrate a victory. All right. Big Air, Big Hair with the Milwaukee Brewers. All right. Brewers celebrate a walk-off home run. Getting closer to this insert or special card coming up. Austin Barnes with the Los Angeles Dodgers. I think it might be the next one after this Amir Garrett, Cincinnati Reds. Okay, here it comes. It's a blue card, that's for sure. Oh, I think it's a blue tops turkey chrome. Yes, this is a top chrome blue turkey card. San Francisco. Who is that? People know the faces in here. Who is that? Does anybody know? Boom, boom, boom. It's a blue turkey card, whoever it is. Crawford. Crawford. A blue chrome. Is this like a... This has got to be a short print or something here. Yes, it is. Brandon Crawford with the San Francisco Giants. 39 out of 50. Definitely a short print for sure. Beautiful looking card. I'm going to... Let me get this penny sleeved and put it in a top loader. That is awesome. That is a pretty looking card. San Francisco Giants. Brandon Crawford. 
let me get that in a top loader right now so I don't well I won't mix it in anyway I think this is my first blue card I got so let me top load this chrome card here awesome looking card That is a cool looking card, that's for sure. I knew I had something. I knew I had something there. Brandon Crawford, San Francisco Giants, blue turkey chrome. I'm gonna set that right here for now. Sorry guys. Actually, no, I should put it between these two. These two underperformed through these breaks here. I don't know what's going on with them. They definitely underperformed. But I had to put that Crawford right there. Okay. So Rice Hoskins, 4 and 10. The Amazing Rice. Then we got a Decades Next rookie card. Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux ended up ended up pulling out a double. Gavin Lux with the the decades not next. Gavin Lux ended up getting the double. It said rookie card. It didn't say it had to be that rookie card. This is marked as a rookie rookie card too. So there we go. We've got uh, Gavin Lux and Aquino. Our tie on second base. That is cool. All right. So next we have a Nolan Ryan 85 throwback card. Uh, Francisco Lindor. Right? And that Francisco Lindor with uh, the Cleveland Indians. Mookie Betts. With the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Mike Trout. Mike Trout is number 46. Yep, I have that one already. And Bryce Harper. With the Philadelphia Phillies. Card number one in the set. So there we go. That'll end our stream for today. I will, I will say goodbye on the camera before I turn things around. But that was a cool hanger box, that's for sure. Well worth getting to that hanger box to open up, get that blue turkey. Turkey red. I like how they're turkey red cards, and that's a blue one. Would have been cool to get like a red border. That's maybe shorter, even a shorter print. But that is cool. Very cool. Well, Kevin, if you watch the, the play here, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gone by now, but Zach Gallon topped them all. I ended up with uh, five Zach Gallon cards plus the turkey Zach Gallon. So one, two, three, four, five, six Zach Gallon cards. Six Zach Gallon cards there, Kevin. Pretty awesome showing, if you do ask me. I don't know if I can get them all in there now. Let's see. Can I get all these Zach Gallons? There we go. Zach is in there. If I put this in just on the edge... Not quite. Well, let's see. He's going to be at least sleeved up because he is a turkey card. The other ones will be sleeved up. Might give me a little bit of an edge to, to squeeze him over that way and get him. Oh, my word. Well, here you go. There, I can do it that way, and you can see all the Zach Gallons there. One, two, three, four, five Zach Gallons, plus the Zach Gallon Turkey Guard. My word. 
Sack Gallon won big time, Nurk Evan. But for the for the initial contest that I started with, there we go. The Jordan Alvarez did make it to home plate. Single, double, triple, and home run. Aquino, we ended up with two Aquinos, two Luxes. We got the decade's next Lux rookie card. But Bo Bichette was left high and dry. Bo Bichette was left high and dry. All by himself. He only made it to first base. Okay, so other than that, then we did pull this beautiful Crawford. Okay, so boom. Oh, I got a package delivered today, so I'll have to see. Maybe I got some family mail call for tomorrow and this was this blue of course was 39 out of 50 card number 39 out of 50 for the blue turkey card i'm gonna just kind of set that up there bobby popped in the house at the last minute how you doing there bobby nice to see you here this this afternoon i know it's afternoon for you guys so i can say afternoon now but that kind of rounds things up there um, sorry there, Aristides Aquino. I gotta push you back so I can get my 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 camera up here and turn it around. Let me turn my camera around so you can see I was wearing my tops hat in honor of the series we're going through now for the baseball cards. This is the throwback card for the Mariners, 1981 through 1986. And then I am wearing my Topps Baseball Cards. This is what I call it, my Topps Baseball Cards t-shirt. When I do my Topps Baseball Card video history, I do wear this shirt. So, boom, boom, boom. Of course, it makes me look chubby just because of the angle of the camera. That's why I don't like to leave it there too long. It makes me look like I'm a fat dude. I do have a little belly, but not that big. <laughs> but... Everything is doing well here in the Blomdahl residence. I got to wrap things up, give my pastor a call and see what he needed some help with. So without further ado, I'm going to get ready to, to end this stream here. Um, I'll probably go right to the two hour mark to get two hours on my view time. But just wanted to end the stream here. I did find a few Mariners in our collection here. I actually found one, two, three, four, five, uh, along with the Felix Hernandez, Decades Best, and then uh, one other uh, insert card, I think. So we did find seven Seattle Mariners, compared to, I think, the four or five we found yesterday. Out of all that product I opened yesterday with two blaster boxes. That made it really weird. But yeah, so... Without further ado, I am going to go ahead and wrap things up here. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and end things here. In about a minute, or three minutes. Looks like about three more minutes to get me to my two-hour mark here. Um, I always try to do between an, an hour and a half to two hours for my streams. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Yes, Bobby, you take care. If you have to take off, um, I did go through your videos the other day and seen that you opened up my video, my uh, my team bags that I sent you in that team box, put it in that nice little box. Um, I see you opened that up in the channel. I kind of replicated how you sent me some cards, so hopefully that was a blessing to you, kind of returning the favor and get one of those boxes back to you. If we use that and just circulate them around the channels and stuff, we can kind of separate. Uh, rotate the boxes as you send things it was awesome I, I I was hoping I could have found some different cards that maybe you hadn't seen for for the Tampa Bay Rays and the Devil Rays when they used to be the Devil Rays I know they just changed it to the Tampa Bay Rays now but uh, those boxes are cool yes thanks appreciate that don't forget to give me a thumbs up in the stream if you haven't done it already I know I didn't have a whole lot of people in the stream I know Kevin gets a lot more than me, but that's fine. Give him support. He's trying to uh, increase his subscribers and get his view view time up, that's for sure. Those devil rays were awesome. Thanks. 
I mean, that's what I had is some of the older Tampa Bay Devil Rays. I don't have a lot of new product, except for some of the new Tampa Bay Rays we pull out now. So um, I got about a minute and a half to go here, and then we'll get into that. Let me turn my camera around real quick so you can see, again, what we did pull today. I've got my Aquino card in the back here. I kind of pushed it back. So we did get four... Um, Jordan Alvarez uh, Gold Cup because his card is a Gold Cup card and a rookie card in the same year. You don't see that happen too ever, too often. And then we did get two Aquinos, two Luxes, but only one Bobachet between part one of yesterday and part two today. So tomorrow, just so you do got a heads up ahead of time, I'm going. It would have been uh, the nor normally opening day of baseball tomorrow. But since it has been delayed, um, so tomorrow my my stadium, the 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 Blomdahl Resident Stadium will be open, and we will be doing uh, an unofficial opening day celebration with opening day product on what would have been opening day for Major League Baseball. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. In case you're wondering what this is down here, this is the the Zach Gallon. In honor of, of Kevin, he wanted me to highlight his Zach Gallon cards that came out. And we ended up getting six total. Five rookie cards for Zach Gallon and the rookie turkey card. That's here. Okay. So we are at the two-hour mark. So I'm going to go ahead and end this dream and lock things up here. Okay. So without further ado, this is Donald Blomdahl, Hall of Fame Veterans. Oh, wait. Sports card and collectibles having come live to you from Arlington, Washington. So this is my salute that I usually do to end the stream. So you guys have a great day. Have a great uh, rest of your week. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Same bat time. Same. Oh, no. Tomorrow I'm going to come on 10 o'clock. A little bit earlier because I'm going to open up a bunch of opening day product. Okay. We're going to have two blaster boxes from opening day and some uh, uh, smaller hanger boxes. These are weird looking, a little bit smaller than what we're used to. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be opening those tomorrow too. So until then, have a great and wonderful day, and we will see you guys around the channels, okay? Bye for now. Take care, and Lord bless you, okay? All right, I had to jump back in real quick. So you guys take care and see if it'll let me close it out properly this time. Bye now, take care, and we'll see you tomorrow morning again. 10 a.m. is going to be my start time. It's already set up in my YouTube channel as an active video for tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Bye now.